Mindset is a collection of a person's attitude, beliefs, values and the way she looks at life. Over time, I have observed it firsthand in my clients and in my own personal life that people who transform themselves with ease and on time are the ones who have the right mindset. In this module, I won't give you the self-help positive jargon. Instead, I will give you practical information that will help you fine tune your thinking pattern and help you develop the right mindset to build a fabulous body that you so deserve. This module will be awesome and you will love it. I have distilled all the knowledge and information that I have not only applied to myself for over a decade, but also on thousands of my clients. These principles are also backed by scientific evidence. So assume for a moment that you are this rocket and your main mission and your final goal is to launch yourself out in the space. Now pay close attention as I will try and explain this whole module with the help of this example metaphorically. Let's start with the few used in the rocket. They are your reasons. Fuel is required to initiate things and having a reason or reasons to start something in this context, a transformation is the main starting point. Lecture two of this module will deal with reasons and we will unpeel the layers of your reasoning and really try and understand your why. It's not enough to say that I want to lose weight or get fit. Idea is to get to the bottom of why you want to lose weight. In the end, losing weight or getting fit is a means to an end. Would you agree? Moving on, let's discuss the substance with which the rocket is made from. Aerospace grade aluminium and titanium are combined to make rockets. They are the best materials and endure the pressure and other atmospheric forces. Your beliefs are, your, are these materials. In a sense, you are what you believe. Your belief, which is the center or the core, when we talk about mindset or the mental game, is literally 80% of the game. As Tony Robbins rightly puts it, 80% of success is due to psychology, mindset, beliefs and emotions, and only 20% is due to strategy, the specific steps needed to accomplish a result. If the beliefs are limiting or negative, they won't be able to withstand when the situation demands it. In lecture three, we will discuss the limiting beliefs and negative thinking patterns that you may have picked up during your childhood and every time you plan on changing your life and do something worthwhile like a transformation, those limited beliefs pull you down. I will discuss the most common limiting beliefs that my clients shared with me and what I uncovered in them without even them knowing it. I too had my shares of limited beliefs which I have worked on and have uprooted them permanently and I will teach you how you can do too. The next are your habits. When you have the right reasons, you're emotionally charged because of those reasons you have also taken the time to uproot the limited beliefs that were sabotaging your results and your life in general. The next step is automation, the right set of behaviors and forging them into habits. Students, success in any endeavor is doing few right things and doing them long enough for the power of habit to take over. Once you initiate the launch sequence for a rocket, you set the course and other details, everything is then managed on autopilot. I'm not saying that no manual maneuvering is required. It definitely is, which we shall come to a bit later. But for now, the autopilot function in the rocket is same as the habits we build. This lecture is all about turning you into a pro. Metaphorically speaking, this would mean practice doing a thing over and over again for success to come. In my opinion, that's what success is, going from failure to failure enthusiastically till success comes. 
Lecture 5 will also discuss long-term versus short-term thinking. We live in a world where instant gratification is a norm. We want the end result like the six-pack or a muscular physique or fancy cars or big house or luxury vacations, but without the hard work. Who will wake up in the morning and go to the gym? Who will grocery shop twice a week? Counting calories? Are you seriously kidding me? Listen students, this diploma course will make things simple for you but not easy. Anything that is worth achieving is worth fighting for. We will put up a fair fight. And if you put the work day after day, month after month, years after year, results will come. And in the end, you will realize the fact that it was never about the destination, but all the fun was in the journey. You know, the grind, the hustle, the struggle has made you that amazing person that you were born to become. A physical transformation requires discipline, tenacity, perseverance, heartaches, failures, and learning from those failures. All these traits are transferable traits and are very useful in all facets of your life. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger and how he used the principles used in bodybuilding to become a top actor and governor of California. Quite a feat for anyone who came from a small village in Austria. In the next lecture, I'll start with number one mindset principle, reasons.